Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hackshida here, hope you're doing good. In this particular session, let us solve this particular lab called Password Brute Force via Password Change. So till now we have used a forgot password functionality, but now we are using a change password functionality. Okay. This lab's password change functionality makes it vulnerable to brute force attack. To solve the lab, use the list of candidate password to brute force Carlos account and accesses my account page. Okay. And also we are given some credentials with Wiener and his password and we got the victim's name Carlos. Always Carlos is a victim. And open the candidate passwords. Make sure you pin this. Okay. Fine. So let us access this lab. Okay. So we got the particular lab and let us go to my account and try to log in. Oh, there is no password, uh, forgot password functionality here. Uh, anyway, P E T E R and hit enter. So we have logged in now. Okay. Here we have something called uh, uh, current password, new password, confirm password. This is a change password button. So we need to give, provide all these uh, uh, mandatory things, I guess. Mm, let us let let's not give this current password and let me give this uh, new password and confirm new password a b c d and a b c d and i'm clicking on password change what is happening okay it is not even allowing me okay fine let me give something like one two three here in the current password which is a wrong one and uh, i'm again giving change password okay it is logging me out great okay winner p e t e r hit enter oh i cannot access this page for one minute this is so nice okay meanwhile we will get this particular request uh, within the burp and uh, and again within one minute we'll go back so where is that particular post request of password change i think this is the one yeah take this to repeater so let us study what is there in this so post request my account change password we have a session a cookie and what else okay we have the username as well here but uh, username is not displayed within that particular uh, page fine and we have the current password new password and confirm new password confirm okay new password to whatever it may be so we uh, if we provide a wrong password here it will log out uh, it will uh, uh, log us out okay uh, is this request working now also let us try hit on send okay it is directly giving us a uh, logout fine uh, what shall we do now okay uh, uh, again click on send okay again it says the same thing uh, click on my account and winner p e t e r hit enter okay we have logged in so now there are no requests so i mean one minute has completed so there is no problem now uh fine so what shall we do now uh, we will give a, a right password here okay p e t e r and uh, a b c d and here a b only a b we will mismatch this one okay we will mismatch and let us see what response we will get now change password okay new password does not match okay fine uh, i'll give a wrong password here other than peter one two three four and um, uh i'll give a b c d and a b this i'll mismatch again so previously i have given the right one but now i have given the wrong current password and uh, mismatched this change password okay now it says current password is incorrect but this did not log out okay so the point is there is a logic flaw within this so when the current password doesn't match even if we give wrong password, wrong current password, then uh, it won't log out. Okay, this is so nice. 
let us consider this now in this case uh, where is this particular request take this to the repeater no intruder intruder and hit clear now the password 1 and password 2 are mismatch and this current password is wrong let us change this uh, victim uh, this uh, username to our victim username carlos okay current password just double click and ha add uh, as a payload so now we are going to add the payloads of this particular one go to the payloads and go here just copy you need to copy this you need to copy all the th all these things and till here copy and go here click on paste okay fine uh this is fine so how do we identify uh, here if you can see uh, every time we got uh, 302 or sometimes uh, uh, i mean 200 also we got but now we we will uh, every time we will be getting 200 okay response okay so how do we find out the difference so for that only uh, let us go to this uh, options okay now in this options uh, what are we going to do is we already know about grep match and we i think uh, we have we know about grep extract as well uh, we learned in the sql labs uh, we will use this one okay extract the following item from response so we will add here and here in the response let us uh, see that particular place uh, what is this current password is incorrect so this is that particular one just add this or you can consider this one okay you can consider this one and hit on ok so here uh, uh, whatever warning message is there that warning message will be displayed to us uh, within the start attack after starting the attack in the comments okay so let us try this and hit on start attack okay everywhere it says current password is incorrect okay here we got something new password is does not match new new passwords does not match when will the new passwords does not match only if the current password is correct okay so just copy this and let us try to log in where is this here uh, first logout where is the logout button my account turn logout my account put carlos and we have the password here hit login congratulations you have solved the lab so this how simple it is uh, there is a small logic within this password uh, change function so that is how a hacker can exploit everything okay thank you for the time and have a great day bye